All right, Christian here. I'm from updatalink.com, and here's my email address in case you want to shoot me any questions or talk about your business. And here's my cell phone number. You're always uh, invited to reach out and do that um, and contact me there. Um, today, this specific tutorial is going to be on what to do with a buyer file. And what this is is an equivalent of a marketing report. Now, companies spend a lot of money every year to do marketing reports. And really, what, what is the point of that? The point is to find out, OK, who is buying my product or service? And this is very important for a variety of reasons. But it's the starting point when you're matching your leads or pending data to your information. You want to know, OK, how do I filter and sort? How do I know my demographic for my service and my, my lead flow and my product? So. Update link is a, is a very inexpensive way that you can do a marketing report and know who your demographics are specifically in a matter of minutes. And the cost to this is relatively very inexpensive compared to what you would pay a marketing firm to give you basically the same information. Um, there are subtle differences, but we can go into that maybe on another tutorial. But to, to match your buyer file, which is the very first step when you're ranking or filtering your leads, you're gonna to wanna to do this before you, you rank your daily leads or your weekly leads. You're gonna log in, you're gonna use the match a lead list, you're gonna to put together a buyer file. Oops, um, I don't have the information there. You're gonna, you're going to match a buyer file, and here is an example of what that looks like. You're gonna to put together a CSV file, and you're going to start with this information. You're going to have your first name, last name, address, city, state, zip. You're going to have their email. Now this company went ahead and used their setter and their closer and the lead type. So who provided the lead? They also tracked whether this was a finance or a regular deal. Somebody paid using their credit card and then the merchant and the fulfillment. And then the update link system is going to add all of these columns to the right of that. So we're just going to take a few minutes and go through on how to do this. So once you've used the match a lead service on the update link website, you download your file and you're going to end up with this type of a file. It's going to have all your update link stuff um, to the right. So I like to put a heading on the headers and then I like to add a row here and then I like to turn it pink. So I put an accent color on it. And so up here, I'm going to track my demographics, the commonalities, and the brackets of certain things. So what I want to do is this was 100 people to begin with. We got about a 40% match rate on this particular file. And so um, you'll have all this information. So let's just slide to the right, and let's look at what the commonalities are and what's important here so that we know how to filter and rank our leads in the future. So the first thing I'm going to come to is age. You know, we look at male and female. Uh, there's not anything anything that stands out there. Um, we're going to look at age. So the age, the lowest is 33, the highest is 84. And then there's the bulk is between 40 and 72. So I'm going to sort this column, and I would come up with those numbers and look at what the bulk is. So I would track that. Now you can get even more specific and look at, okay, which buyers may be bought over 5,000, maybe which buyers bought under 5,000 and kind of track the differences that way. My buyers are on this file, my buyers for this particular product and service generally have completed high school, which is very interesting. They also usually are in a blue or white collar occupation, which is important to know because now I know to look for that in the future. They are almost always a homeowner. I mean, that's great. Um, so I now know to filter that in the future. Um, they have an income. They don't make too little. They don't make too lot, too less. So these are uh, middle class. Their net worth is between fifty and two fifty, and um, they sometimes go out higher than that. Now you're going to want to make sure that you take out any cancellations out of this buyer file to make sure that it's just buyers that stuck with your program. Um, credit rating right in the middle. If it if it leans to one side, it goes up above eight hundred. And these people have established credit. So what this shows me is that these are middle-class Americans. And they have established credit, which tells me that they have something to lose. And that's probably why they're looking at this opportunity, because they, they want to make more money. 
And so they're interested in your product. Now, they don't make too much because then they're comfortable and then they don't have to be compelled to buy. So they're always, they're always credit card holders and always credit card users. And we come across, they like to make investments and they have a personal investment interest. We come across, this is interesting. They have usually one or less child. So they're not dealing with too many children, which means that they can probably focus. So you know that that's important as you filter in the future. The homeowner thing, which we've covered, we only have two renters in here. Um, and then I like to mark up my file, you know, according to this. So this is mortgage information. You're going to look for anything that stands out. You know, they're a mail order buyer and a mail order responder. And then they're also... Um, now, this file does not have ethnicity and uh, English in it, but according to the other file that I ran with this one, that was the case. You know, they were typically Western European, Protestant in religion, and English. So that's just a quick rundown on how to pick apart a buyer file. And now you know when you match your leads in the future, you know where to, where to go um, and what to match. So if you have any questions, go to updatalink.com. You can send out feedback on the site, uh, create a free login. It's secure and start matching your lead lists and your buyer files and start uh, making more money because you know who's your buyer in your lead flow. Again, my name is Christian. Here's my email address and my cell phone number if you want to reach out and talk to me. Thank you.